Thank you, Guru. Um, when Guru uh, was arranging the order of the uh, the panel, and he asked me uh, to, uh, uh, he gr grouped Malik and I together to uh, talk from a technology vendor's perspective. So I'm, uh, although I didn't see Malik's uh, slides uh, uh, beforehand, but it turned out it played uh, uh, played out pretty well. So. Uh, well, Malik is talking about from a service provider uh, network point of view, what the, the SDN's impact and transformation will look like. Uh, I will talk primarily focus. Uh, I will be prim primarily focusing on uh, enterprise networking and uh, the uh, the large cloud uh, environment uh, networking. So. With that, I'll quickly cover a few topics in, in the next 10 minutes or so. The first one I'll talk about, what are the drivers from Dell's perspective um, to the uh, uh, SDN movement, and uh, what's our uh, view of long-term view towards SDN. I'll also talk uh, about a few market uh, opportunity examples, and uh, those are from our business vintage point, some are very immediate short-term um, uh, uh, opportunities. Some are long-term directional, uh, directionally market transformation. I'll touch on those, and then I'll, I'll uh, introduce a little bit of what we do now about SDN in terms of the programs. So if we look from a enterprise and, uh, and uh, uh, large uh, data hosting center point of view, uh, the driver behind today's changing of paradigm of networking is, is primarily because this computing model that the network is built to support is fundamentally changing. So it changes from the client server model into this cloud centralized type of model. And the, the, drive, the, the technology driver, drivers behind it, there are multiple of it, but the main one, uh, one of the main ones is the, uh, the, the uh, virtualization. So with the computing model changing from the, the client server model of the last 15 to 20 years into this new cloud type of model, we, s we, we see the, the impact on the networking side are very profound and in multiple areas. So first, in the data center environment, we see that the, because of the, the, the ar ar arising of the virtual networking from the hypervisor environment, and that triggers the server and an access level, uh, layer switching, becoming a converged type of uh, infrastructure. And uh, secondly, that triggers a flattened architecture of the aggregation and core network. And uh, then about network services, you can deploy them anywhere at any time in, in the form of uh, virtual machines. That fundamentally changes the data center networking architecture. Now, campus networking, not many people talked about that, the disruption uh, coming. Uh, yet, but uh, one can easily see the, the unification of a wireless or wireline type of access network. Today, with the uh, wireless network, the, from day one, the separation, the, the data plane and the control plane are separated, uh, the, but on the wired side is not the case. And that g gives a lot of a challenge to uh, both the user mobility and the workload mobility. So we'll see that the, the, that architecture barrier is soon to be gone. Um, with the thirdly, with very large scale out computing systems coming to the horizon and, and also very large warehouse scale data center homogeneous type of data center environment, that demands a new class of switching and which is not addressable by today's either uh, today's enterprise class switching architecture. So that's another huge opportunity uh, to, to, uh, to be presented to us. And uh, we believe software-defined networking can be a key player, key enabler in all of th those areas. And I'll touch on some of the, uh, the detail use cases and uh, business opportunities uh, uh, briefly. The first one, 
as we see it, uh, SDN and OpenFlow enabled opportunities is pretty much in the in the data center environment, the, a uh, multi-tenancy data center environment, and this is probably one of the low-hanging fruits from our point of view uh, for SDN and OpenFlow architecture. And uh, different people have different uh, studies, but to us, we have some internal study and based on customer feedbacks and uh, our internal market uh, research. We saw that a SDN-enabled multi-tenancy uh, data center can reach to, say, um, $1.6, $1.7 million market. That's just addressable to Dell and, uh, in, in about four years. And uh, granted, that's not purely networking. It is infrastructure. It is management, automation, software on top of it. But, but this is just one small use case of SDN OpenFlow enabled. I won't go through the details of why SDN has certain advantages in this space. I think uh, um, throughout the two days of, uh, conference, uh, the people have touched on many, many uh, aspects of that, so different people look from different angles, but uh, you can pretty much see the, 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 the reason for the SDN-enabled multi-tenancy data center being simplicity of management, ease of control of network services, um, better security, separation of the dif different uh, tenants, and so on. So, and it can also uh, interoperate with the legacy environment. So. Uh, switch uh, the uh, the switch out there. So, but this is a very tactical, very very short term, immediate, low hanging fruit market opportunity. Just uh, just to relate to the the theme of this panel, uh, but we can see many more and many other uh, more strategic uh, areas, which I actually will pick two to touch on. Um, this one is about. Enterprise networking, campus networking. Today, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, that we have very siloed operational procedures to deal with wired network and a wireless network, uh, WLAN I'm specifically referring to. From access control, security, uh, management, and the policy QoS perspective, they are totally different. The fundamental reason for that is the, the WLAN side was designed from day one with a separated architecture. A data plane and the controller plane are separated. And it's somewhat like the SDN concept from day one already. The campus networking, the wired campus networking, however, was the legacy of the, the, uh, the data networking from 15, 20 years ago. We built very monolith monolithic access switches that blends the access data access and the control protocols together. So the, the, the think about a, a, a common policy, security policy, access control policy you want to apply to both sides of the world, it's not that simple. Now, we see the potential of uplifting or elevating the, the control point from the campus data network onto a higher plane, like either a centralized control plane or a, a cloud in cloud unified control plane, together with the, the uh, wireless side. And this is a much, much elegant architecture. And it will also trigger a set of a new access, access uh, uh, switching class. So think about APs today at the wireless environment. The economics of APs are totally different than access switch, the wired access switch. So we believe there is a huge potential there. How long it will get there is probably a long journey. But what I'm painting a picture is that probably five to ten years from now, you will see the, uh, the campus networking becoming a a new class that's next generation AP-like access class for the wired side as well as for the wireless side, unified by a common control plane up in the cloud or some centralized position. Another example, also directional example, and this one more applied, it's more applied to the hyperscale 
data center environment or extreme scale out compute uh, platforms. Today with the advance at the silicon level, it's not uncommon to see large scale out systems with, uh, with uh, thousands of CPU cores, a single system, or in a ver very large warehouse scale data center, cloud-based data center, you see hundreds of thousands of CPUs performing a single task or designed in a very disciplined way, in a very hom homogeneous way to support a single or a few well-defined applications. In that environment, the, the communication needs are very, very different than today's enterprise class switching category can support. If you look at the, the, the uh, picture on the right-hand side, the middle ground, the, what I call fabric, is a new category that's emerging. Up to now, most of the compute systems or the, the infrastructure is designed that the left-hand side, the servers, and the storage, attached storage, interact directly with the network. So you will have either in system, in server interconnect to support the, the uh, in server communication, or you need to go out to the external switching to perform inter cluster communications. Now, with the emergence of, of this hyperscale environment, you, s you see the need of shared but perceptionally local storage say, think of a RDMA type of em, uh, environment, and, and as well as no difference from a virtual machine point of view to migrate from one cluster to another, whether you perform that inside the same rack or at another CPU at another rack. So this class, new class of uh, fabric switching in the middle has a different characteristics than today's server interconnect or the external switching. It does res demand very low, ultra low latency. It does predict, uh, demand very predictable switching uh, guarantee, non-blocking non like. Um, but it also have certain aspect of today's uh, 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 external switching uh, uh, characteristics. So this is a new class we believe will soon emerge in the next few years. And uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful opportunity for some form of SDN, or I don't know whether today's open flow can be applied, but uh, characteristically, uh, simple manageability, very dynamic control of a workload redistribution is, is one element of this class of uh, switching architecture. We believe this is a huge market opportunity that's going to uh, uh, emerge very soon. So what I have uh, gone through are a few examples of uh, Dell's point of view towards SDN from a commercial point of view, market point of view, uh, both the short term and the long term, uh, the impact to enterprise switching and, uh, and the cloud switching. Uh, but to summarize, what is Dell's business point of view towards um, as the end. We believe that the shift in the computing paradigm uh, requires a new fundamental, fundamentally new architecture and deployment approach to networking industry. That, that applies to breaking up of today's monolithic network architecture. That applies to the breakup of today's operation model, as well as to break up today's uh, development model that a single company controls everything. We believe the SDN will enable a much more collaborative ecosystem-based development environment. So from Dell's point of view, we support open flow-based SDN as the starting point towards this SDN movement. And uh, we, uh, we are happy to work with uh, partners and, uh, and uh, uh, customers towards this, uh, this new uh, direction. Thank you. Yeah.